Hey guys, so I did a little uh, teaser post uh, not too long ago, about a week ago now, um, saying that I get a new firearm, and I uh, told you guys to stand by. Uh, if you could tell by the box, it was from Palmetto State Armory. You know, take that for what it is. Some of you like them, some of you don't. That's fine, because either way, you're not shooting it. I am. So, uh, without further ado, let's see what we got here. All right. All right, guys. So, what we have here is the Palmetto State Armory 7.5 inch AR pistol in 300 blackout. So, uh, why did I choose 300 blackout? Because, one, I wanted a close quarters gun, something for uh, home defense, and honestly, just to have a little bit of fun with. And, uh, you know, these lose a lot of velocity the shorter the barrel you go. So I chose 300 blackout to kind of compensate for some of that velocity loss with a bigger round. So whether that's flawed logic or not, that's what I wanted to do. I have five, a couple of 556 five, builds, wanted a 300 blackout, and uh, said, what the heck, why not? I uh, didn't reveal this right away because I wanted to get some parts in. That way I can just start to not build, but uh, I guess accessorize or make it better um than what it comes from the factory so i purchased this lower as a blemished lower um i think it was during the black friday and i just was going to hold on to it um and not really do much with it until i found something that i wanted and then the wife was like uh, i don't know what to get you for christmas i was like well how much are you trying to spend so uh she gave me her budget and i was like all right look here's a couple of different uppers i did send her a 556 five, upper 300 upper and uh i think one other choice and i was like look just pick one of these no matter which pick i'll be happy she's like you know tell me what you want i was like look that ruins the surprise so anyway she got the one that i really wanted which is the 300 blackout it was like 20 bucks more than the 556 so uh, not really too big of a deal and uh so she got me that for christmas and then all i had to do was just get my uh SB Tactical, SBA3 brace. Um, I don't like the four. I don't like the rods and all that craziness. Uh, this is simple, basic, and uh, functions and does what I needed to do. So, uh, yeah. Let's check this thing out. So, like I said, SBA3. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the fix, the split fix for that little split that goes right there or not. Um, so, it does have a QD mount already built into it. And then the rail that comes stock from uh, Palmetto State Armory has a couple of QD mounts. I did go ahead and pick up another M-Lock QD mount to give myself more options because uh, in these QD mounts here, it doesn't allow that uh, the quick detach swivel. It doesn't allow it to turn. It's pretty much locked in whatever position it's in, so you kind of have to get that right. However... If you use the aftermarket QD mount, it will, it's smooth. So it will pivot and spin, you know, 360 all the way around. So that way it doesn't bind up or do anything crazy, depending on what positions you're going to be shooting from. So that's just something to consider. So I, I originally hoped to use this, but I don't know if you can tell. It's got little uh, serrations in here where it locks into place and you can't move it. So if you start changing sling angles, it's going to just start twisting and be weird versus just flowing with it. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, if you can see, I've already done a couple little cosmetic things. Uh, I got the ambidextrous charging handle and, you know, nothing crazy. I did got some extended take down pins just because uh, that makes my life easier. And since I'm a right-handed shooter, they... Don't get snagged on anything against my body because they face the other way. So, not a big deal there. Um, so, this rail is a 9-inch rail, 7.5-inch barrel. And then this fluted uh, flash can from Palmetto State Armory is about 3 inches long. So, overall, this sits kind of like a, a 10, 10.5-inch 10 barrel would sit lengthwise. Um, if I got a different compensator, flash hider whatever you want to call it, uh, it would sit a little bit shorter and just get a shorter rail, but I kind of like how this setup is right now. I'll test it out for a little bit. I haven't fired it yet to see uh, how I like it. So this isn't designed to help with recoil or anything like that. It's just meant to push the gases forward um, away from you, and uh, that concussion and that blast, that can be a little bit more... I guess pronounced or felt with the shorter barrel, it just helps push that stuff away from you to uh, 
you know, make it a little bit more pleasurable to shoot, if you will. Uh, this did come with a <clears throat> charging handle and bolt carrier group. Uh, change the charging handle out. Going to wait to get a better bolt. Um, I want to get a nickel bore on. Not sure who I want to go with. I went with uh, WMD for my last bolt. It's been working out pretty well, so uh, maybe I'll give them a go, or maybe I'll try Spike Stack Google, or I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, got some uh, got some parts for it. So I got a uh, Strike Industries hand stop because you can't run a vertical grip. Not that I would really run one anyway. I would, at most, I would run a full size angled foregrip, but um, you can't run a vertical foregrip on a AR pistol because then you start creeping into SBR territory and uh, I'm not paying the NFA $200. Uh, this brace is uh, adjustable, does what I need it to do. And uh, honestly, what's the freaking difference? <laughs> I don't know. You just, you put a regular stock and now it's an SBR. It's like weird, whatever. Anyway, not paying $200 for it. It's not worth it to me. So anyway, uh, one of the first main things, just uh, gonna upgrade the grip because this, uh, <clears throat> these uh, M16, A2, M4 slash whatever grips leave a lot to be desired. Um, I hate the finger serrations and just the angle over time, having your wrist bent, it's, it gets weird and uh, I don't know, I don't like it. So these are a little bit more straight and put you at a little bit more comfortable angle for a long time shooting. And they also have a cool little storage compartment for CLP, any kind of documents, I don't know, whatever you need. A little bit of rifle cleaning gear if that's what you want to do. And cool. Uh, ATI backup sight, so I don't have an optic yet. Uh, I'm not sure, really sure what I want to run. Uh, i got a couple different choices in mind, so uh, until I make up my mind, got my uh, backup sight, so I have these on my uh, Anderson that I uh, that I did and they work really well and what I like about these is a few of them have this design now but you don't need any special tools so that front sight post right here uh, adjusts by just turning that wheel you don't have to have that special tool that you know s snugs down on the top and you got to turn it and hopefully you don't lose that damn thing while you're out at the range and have to use pliers and do some weird stuff. So uh, I like those, they work pretty well and they're pretty cost effective. I think these are like $30. So compared to the Magpul ones, yeah, they they got the cool little push button, but whatever, dude. Either way, you still gotta reach up and push the button. So if I can push a button, I can flip them up with my finger, not a big deal. They are polymer, so uh, they've held up well on my other rifle. So yeah, for what I need, these are perfect. I liked them enough to buy them again, so uh, yeah. So I posted this too on my uh, on my YouTube page, the little stories. I don't know if you guys have that feature or not, but uh, if you do, you'll see uh, I went with the Palmetto State Custom Series three and a half pound trigger. So I put a CMC on my last uh, rifle. So uh, I've been hearing really, 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 really freaking good things about this trigger here. So uh, for ninety nine dollars, free shipping. Couldn't beat the price, so I went ahead and went with it. So three and a half pounds, full power hammer spring, US certified materials, one piece design, 7075 T6 aluminum housing, crisp clean break with short reset. Um, just look these up on YouTube. Plenty of people have reviewed them and everybody raves about them and says that they're freaking awesome. So uh, I can't wait to try it out, see how it compares to the CMC trigger I have in my other rifle. Uh, again, extra M-Lock QD mount. That way I can have a little bit more versatility and more options of mounting my sling versus just these <clears throat> two predetermined sets, which is really only one because with this fluted flash can, it's too wide in here, so the QD mount doesn't have enough room to uh, to mount in there. So really, I only have this one, so I'm not sure, really sure where I'm gonna run it. I am gonna run it further back, probably one of these two uh, M-Lock slots, just due to the fact with my hand stop, I don't want the sling to get in my way. So since this is a AR pistol with a short barrel, uh, my hand is gonna be right around here. So, and I'll have my light, my 
Olight Odin Mini. I'm gonna get some crap for that one in the comments. Cool, you could have bought a Streamlight, bro. Not that much more money. Yeah, I could have. It was like 20 more bucks, but guess what? I bought an Olight. If you don't like it, leave a comment about it and I'll just say, cool, go buy one. I have this. It is what it is, guys. Don't get upset. It's not your stuff. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Anyway, so yeah, with my hand being here and my light pressure switch probably somewhere around this area here, well, probably more like right back here because I got to mount my uh, backup sight. So right around here-ish, um, I don't want that sling mount to be anywhere in the way of my hand wrapping around the uh, hand guard here. So there's that. And speaking of mounting the light, I don't know if you've seen these from Strike Industries. I made a post about these also. So I have it on my other rifle here. So what it does, it's just a, they call it a cable management system. So essentially you just mount your light and you can put your cables up in there and this little groove at the top here, hold your pressure switch, which I have right here. So when you're grabbing a hold of your light, you just go ahead and push that bad boy and it does what it needs to do. I don't know if you guys can pick up the light on camera. But yeah, it just uh, cleans things up without having a bunch of electrical tape or <coughs> ranger bands, whatever the hell you want to call them. So yeah, there's that. And uh, I don't know, this uh, Olight, this is my first Olight. I don't know why they get so much hate. It's actually, uh, it came pretty well packaged. I did a little video on it. Um, I didn't really go into too much detail in the video because there wasn't really much to go over, but this thing is pretty bright. And uh, I like it because everything quick detaches. So the mount that it comes with, so your flashlight will slide in to this channel here and lock into place. And then, you know, you lock it right here. So all you do is twist that to unlock and your flashlight will literally slide right off of that mount. And then if you have your pressure switch attached, it, so it goes in here and locks in, you just literally, oh gosh, I don't got no more hands. So it just pops right off. And then say your weapon goes down for whatever reason, everything just quick detaches and then you have a, uh, if you don't have a light mounted to your sidearm, which maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't, everybody's different, uh, cause then that plays into holstering and comfort of carrying it all day, blah, 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 blah. But uh, anyway, you could then have your uh, support hand holding that light with your sidearm and boom, you got light to do what you need to do and see what you need to see in case your primary weapon goes down. You can just quick detach that, boom, sling this behind your back and go to work with your sidearm. So anyway, that's enough plugging the Olight. You're either gonna like it or you're not, so I'm not really gonna sell anybody who doesn't want it. So anyway, yeah, that's what I got. Let me know what you guys think. I can't wait to uh, shoot this thing. Um, let me know what you guys think about the Sightmark Ultra Shot M-Spec. Um, I've seen a few reviews on it and I kinda like that one and I kinda wanna go with it over the Holosun. Um, they're really not too much difference in price, like $50. So either way, it's not like I'm saving a bunch of money, but uh, I've been seeing some good stuff on that site, Mark, and I kind of want to give it a try. But anyway, this is it. My seven and a half inch AR pistol chambered in 300 blackout. Ooh, one other thing. Not that, or that. So mags 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 so because i ordered this like as a separate kit i didn't get a mag because i ordered the lower then my wife got the upper and then i ordered the brace after the fact blah 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 blah. anyway so these things are hit or miss with cycling correctly with 5.56 five, mags now obviously you can use 5.56 five, mags uh, i see a lot of people use them nobody a lot of people don't have issues but then every once in a while some people do so i went ahead and got some dedicated 300 blackout mags and that just makes it easier too because they're clearly labeled i'm not gonna get confused even though the freaking 
300 blackout doesn't look anything like 556 five, it's much much bigger projectile but hey people get confused i don't know maybe you early in the morning you're grabbing something or somebody in the middle of the night it starts uh, getting crazy you got the yeast stored with your 556 five, mags which i don't recommend but uh if you do if they're labeled <clears throat> you're less likely to make a catastrophic mistake so uh let me know what you guys think like the video, comment please, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, stay tuned for me uh, installing this stuff and taking her out to the range. All right, have a good night.